Hello and welcome to this overview of Wonder Woman Rebuff Deluxe Edition Book 1 written by Greg Rucka with art by Liam Sharp and Nicholas Scott and this book is published by DC Comics in 2017 and it contains uh, 14 issues in the Rebuff run that started in 2016 and the people credited for this book uh, on the front page are Greg Rucka, the writer, Liam Sharp artist, Nicholas Scott artist, uh, Laura Martin and R uh, Romulo Fayardo Jr are the colorists and here is the front cover with the dust jacket on this is a variant cover uh, by jenny fryson and honestly the cover compared to the artwork in this book is not uh, that great i think uh, the variant covers in this book uh, also by Jim, uh, jenny fryson are a lot better uh, than this one uh, but uh, this is what they decided to go with uh, i don't know why the colors are, look so weird either it, uh, it honestly looks like a printing error uh, the colors on this uh, cover but uh, jennifer Fryson's other works have similar uh, colors uh, so i guess uh, that's not the case <laughs> but yeah the front cover contains diana blocking some bullets And here we have the spine. This is uh, the standard spine for all uh, rebuff deluxe editions, which is pretty neat since uh, the books will look quite good on the shelf, even though it's a very simple design. But it's better than uh, every book having a different design, <laughs> which can uh, drive you mad. Uh, but here is the back cover. And this is also by Jenny Fryson. I think this looks a lot better. Uh, this variant cover and here you can see the issues collected in this book we see number uh, 1 to 14 of the rebuff run and also a uh, wonder woman rebuff issue 1 as well so you get 15 issues uh, in this deluxe edition and down here is the price and the book was printed and bound in canada in the inside the dust jacket we get some more a plot info the past and present here means that uh, there are two story arcs and they are both written by uh, greg rucka and the two story arcs are called uh, the Lies, which takes place in the present, and Year One, which takes place in the past and is the uh, origin story for Wonder Woman. And on the other side you get some information about Greg Rucka, Liam Sharp and Nicholas Scott. And here is the book without the uh, dust jacket. Absolutely gorgeous art by Nicholas Scott here. Uh, with Diana fighting Ares and art here is taken uh, from one of the issues in this book but yeah it looks great on this laminated paper and I love when publishers take some extra effort to actually make the books feel unique and this is uh, absolutely a good way to design a book and we can also open the book up uh, fully and you will see the full design here and i also want to add that the uh, quality of the printing on the cover is great this book really feels like a good high quality book and of course it is a high quality book but now let's get into the book uh, first off we get some thick and papers in black printed on a matte a uh, rough paper and then we get a cover here uh, with one woman rebuff the deluxe edition book one but here we have the people involved in this book with Greg Rucka's writer and here you will see the artists that worked on the book uh, the colorist letters and collection cover artists and also of course Wonder Woman was created in the 1940s by William Moulton Marston and here we have some technical information mainly about the people in uh, DC Comics and here's also another nice uh, cover and this is this cover for the solo uh, issue of the Reba Wonder Woman Reba which starts here and every cover has uh, the regular one first and then a black and white copy of that one. But yeah, this is the first um, issue number one of Rebirth uh, with Liam Sharp as artist. And it sets up the start of the Rebirth run uh, with the lies. As you will see if you start reading this book, I will of course not try to spoil anything. But uh, yeah, I've read all of the issues in this uh, deluxe edition. You can just see here the amazing artwork by Liam Sharp. So good. And the colors also amazing. 
And then issue one of the lies starts here. Yeah, with art by Liam Sharp as well. And I'm very new to comics, so I haven't stumbled upon much art yet. But I was really thrown away by this artwork. And here's uh, Diana's encounter with Cheetah, uh, Barbara Ann. And then the first issue of year one begins here with art by Nicholas Scott. And it is Liam Sharp that is the artist for the odd issues in this uh, book. And uh, Nicholas Scott is the artist for the even numbered issues. So this is issue two, uh, year one, uh, with Nicholas Scott as artist. Uh, but I think I prefer uh, Liam Sharp's art, but I did enjoy the part one story uh, more than the story in The Lies. But the reason for that could be that I haven't read too much Wonder Woman. I've read a few standalone uh, miniseries and stuff like that. And also a uh, George Perez uh, run, um, I think 14 issues into that run also. Uh, but let's talk about the quality of the print and the paper in this edition. Uh, the paper is glossy, uh, which you can probably see here. Uh, it's not too thick either, but it is of course good quality paper, uh, no bleed through at all, and the colors look amazing on the paper. And the quality of the print is also very good. As for the gutter loss on this edition, not too much. It definitely is some gutter loss here, uh, especially on the first pages of the book, but when you get in the middle of it, uh, it's not too bad. And uh, now I'm gonna warn you about spoilers if you haven't read this since I'm gonna go a bit further in the book. I just love looking at Liam Sharp's artwork. And here we have another artist. Uh, this is uh, art by uh, Bilquez Everly. And this is uh, some background uh, on uh, Barbara Ann, or Sheeta, as she will uh, become. And in George Perez's run, I'm used to uh, Sheeta being the villain, but uh, her and one woman do team up in this book, which is pretty cool. And then we're back to some more Liam Sharp. And I actually, I listened to an interview uh, with Liam Sharp and he seems like a great guy also which is always fun to uh, see <laughs> when you are a fan of uh, one's work. And here is uh, one of the few double page arts works in this book and this is uh, Wonder Woman testing her abilities and talking with animals and lifting tanks and uh, blocking bullets and flying with the birds. <laughs> I love Diana's curiosity and uh, innocence to the new world. Uh, and here we have another artist. Uh, this is Renato Guedes, who did the issue Angel Down uh, when Diana uh, loses her mind. <laughs> and his art is very different uh, to the others. But yeah, it's pretty good also. But now let's move on to the a very exciting part of this video which is the variant cover gallery and all of the extras in this deluxe edition so let's check that out and here we have some variant covers and these two are by Stanley Lau and this is by Frank Cho and uh, Ney Ruffino I'm not really a big Frank Cho fan and here starts the Jenny Fryson uh, variant covers and honestly I think this would have looked better as a front cover uh, than the uh, one that is on this deluxe edition. And here's the one on the back cover. It also looks great, nice colors. And here's the front cover they used. Of course, you are aware of the Wonder Woman movie that uh, came out this summer. And they uh, got very inspired from that movie when they decided to design her costume. Uh, here you can see the new 52 uh, costume that she had. And here's the new one. And here we can see a pre-series uh, test page by Liam Sharp. And here are page progressions. And the end papers at the back are uh, the same black end papers. And I can gladly say that this book is 100% smooth sewn and a black headband and the spine is a bit rounded. And the book lays uh, pretty flat 
I didn't have to open the, up the book too much when I read it. It's just uh, those first pages, you know. I hope you enjoyed this very long overview of uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth Deluxe Edition 1. If you have any questions about the book or any other book in my collection, then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by going to my Patreon page, which you will find in the description or up here. Or you can use my Tashin affiliate link if you want to buy some uh, beautiful book from Tashin while still supporting this channel. But other than that, I don't have much else to add on. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope I will see you all next time. Goodbye.